Opportunities don't just happen, you create them. Chris Grosser, let's jump into the charts today. We see everything but gold is down. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 down 1.33%. By the way, Patreon members, I recorded for you today the charting cryptos, commodities, and currencies. They're uploading now. Along with the training, we put out every week the three-wave trades, which are the liquid stocks, liquid ETFs with liquid options. You should enjoy it. We curate that uh, list for you each and every week, and it's just one of the many things our Patreon members get. Now, see where things are. I talked about what we saw happen a few weeks ago. The market went down for three weeks, gave us an opportunity to jump in and pull 1.62% out, and then turned around and moved back up weekly. If you remember, we didn't jump into that because we didn't feel good about it for a number of reasons. Primarily, we didn't have a lot of volume moving up. It weakened and then rolled back over. We had another opportunity to pull out 1.83%, which of course we did on that down move. And then we saw things stall and start to move up. But again, the same kind of pattern repeating. We did have a good bit of volume here that first week. But then this week, <clears throat> again, we're three days in, could hit the average volume again. But the candles are showing us some weakness down to the day, 1.33%. What are we seeing happen? Well, we had a 12% up move. That started all the way back on the 20th of March, week beginning then. And then we had pretty much an unbroken, a bit of a sideways slide in the middle, but an unbroken up move. Then we saw things move over, try to get up again, fail, try to get up again. Is it going to fail again? Are we going to see stair steps? Well, sort of a jerking back and forth as it Moves down, pops up a little, moves down, pops up a little. Are we going to see a retracement? That may be what is occurring. That's why we are paying close attention to what is going on. We do see that price is well above that prior trend line on both the two-day and the half-day. But again, weakness inserting itself. So we will pay close attention. What about the NASDAQ 100? We see... The same kind of thing here. Again, nice move up and then things rolled over. Tried to gain some, dropped. Trying to gain some, dropping down 1.31% for the day. Pay attention to how these things continue to move. We may be breaking that weekly trend line. We're able to draw one here on the NASDAQ 100. We weren't able to draw an up one here on the S&P 500. I tried... Um, on the two-day a little bit, but what we of course see here is that it's just pretty much flat, which is telling us another thing too, using the candlesticks. Remember, we use the candlesticks, Heiken Ashi candlesticks, the volume, what Jesse Livermore taught us, one of the greatest traders in the world, and of course, from way back in the 1920s. And of course, we also use trend lines. That's what we are all about. Let's move from stocks to bonds. Bonds down for the day, 0.88%. Looking beautiful, super high volume last week. Volume's already up to the average. We're just at Wednesday. Things moving back down. You can check it out. This latest two-day candle finish drawing. Nice down candle. Resuming the downward march after a sideways slide, a little up movement. Of course, price is below the weekly trend line on the weekly chart, the two-day and the half-day. What about gold? Gold continuing to push up. And again, last week's spinning top, higher than average volume, higher than average volume where it tweaked its low, which is what we would, of course, expect. And of course, this week, nice, big, strong up candle, strong and ever increasing up candles on the two day, nice movement on the half day, price well above the weekly trend line on all three charts. Gold moving up. Nice to see. What about Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin again, after a week on, week off, week on, week off, week on. So we will continue to watch what Bitcoin tells us down for the day 0.88%. Let me show you something interesting. You'll see for those of you not subscribers, not Patreon members, of course, we appreciate you subscribing to the channel if you do that. But let me take you over 
to Bitcoin on the 24 hour a day chart looks a little bit different here as we look at 24 hour a day Bitcoin. When I enlarge it, you can of course see we only have one pullback week here. Bitcoin slowly but surely trudging up. Now the volume not giving us a lot to bank off of, but Bitcoin is a strange character. It's not a stock. It's not a bond. It's not a commodity. It's Bitcoin. It's a cryptocurrency. So a little different. Trying to find patterns here, folks. Not easy. Not something that, you know, we started tracking originally. You guys ask us to do it. But as we look, we're trying to find some things to allow us to trade off of. We have seen Bitcoin since the beginning of the year. Pop up, pull back, pop up, pull back, pop up, pull back. And is it, in, is it in another pop-up? Looks like it's trying to do that. Hard to track, hard to trade, but again, worth the effort. Thanks so much, folks. If you're not a Patreon member, want to support what we do here, remember the things you support tend to stay around. We appreciate you. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters. You want to reach out to us, it's easy to do. CW at chartingwealth.com.